Hello, and welcome to the Reiki Gem Wellness Channel. Today, we're going to be talking all about the healing and supportive benefits of amethyst. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Shannon, and I'm a certified Reiki master and teacher and a certified gemologist, and I combine these passions to provide you with the knowledge, tools, and opportunities to practice crystal healing in your daily life. Every week, I'll be posting, I'll be doing a weekly series focusing on a different gemstone every single week. On Thursdays, I post this video, Improve Your Life With, to help teach you about the healing benefits of, of a particular gemstone. And then on Saturdays, I post a guided meditation to give you the opportunity to practice. And in my Etsy store, I provide beautiful crystal healing or healing crystal jewelry and Reiki tumbled gemstones that I make all myself. And the link for the Etsy store is in the description below. So if you'd like to follow along and learn about a new gemstone every single week, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to collect a mass of information about different gemstones. But today it's all about amethyst. Amethyst is in the quartz family and is, it could be a light to deep intense purple. This one is a really dark purple. Kind of blends in with my shirt and the curtains. And this deep purple resonates to the third eye and the crown chakras. And informs a lot of how this gemstone can help us in our daily life. And there are four primary ways that amethyst can help us. And the first is it helps us deepen meditation and calm the mind. It helps us release distracting, disturbing thoughts and be able to settle in to a meditation that's calm and clear. And when it calms the mind, it helps, it just helps clear mental distraction in general, which does help meditation. And with a clear mind, it helps you make more objective, more informed decisions. And it helps you um, be at peace in the moment. So its first benefit is to just really soothe and calm your mind. But it leads to its second supportive ability, and that is it helps awaken all of our intuitive abilities. It enhances our connection with our intuition. It strengthens our gut feelings. It helps with any kind of um, psychic type ability. So divination, if you um, read tarot or oracle cards or any kind of divination or scrying method, it helps you hear the messages from your inner wisdom. You know, it also he helps with uh, precognition, lucid and precognitive dreaming, spirit connection, um, like connecting with the spirits around us, whether that be former people spirits or nature spirits. And then it also helps us with connecting with our spirit guides. So if you're looking to awaken or deepen, enhance your intuitive abilities, then meditating with amethyst will definitely help you out there. The third benefit of amethyst is contentment, because this is the stone of spirituality and contentment. It helps us break the cycle of craving and addictions. Amethyst used to be used to help ward off drunkenness. In those days where they were having big feasts and lots of drinking. A person would put a piece of amethyst in their wine goblet 
to help ward off drunkenness so that they could drink more. Now, do I think that works? Probably not, but I'm not gonna test it. But it does help us break cravings and addictions. It allows you to see clinging behavior more objectively. It helps you identify those areas where you're attached to something in your life. And it works with all kinds of addictions, whether you're addicted to coffee or buying yarn or you know watching TV, food. It helps you release what you're clinging to. You know, to go back to an earlier one, it helps you be at peace with the present moment. It helps you be okay and settled in what is and not be craving more or something different. So if you feel like you're struggling with an obsession with something, meditating with amethyst will help you see why you feel the need to cling to that object. Like if it's food, are you um, feeling scarcity and fear that there's not enough? Well, amethyst will help you determine the root cause of that so you can release those cravings. And then finally, amethyst helps enhance sleep and to ward off nightmares because amethyst helps to calm the mind. And when we can calm the mind and it's not running 100 miles an hour when we're trying to go to sleep, we can settle into sleep a lot easier. So it helps curb insomnia if you have problems falling asleep. Uh, meditating with amethyst before you go to bed will help you relax into sleep a lot easier. And it also helps you have more peaceful dreams, potentially intuitive dreams. So if you're, if you're sleeping with amethyst by your bed, or in your pillowcase, it's useful to keep a, a dream journal next to you so that you can write down the dreams that you have with amethyst because it awakens your intuitive abilities. So you might start having precognitive or informative dreams. So, you know, if you take a look at all four of these elements, they all work together. When your mind is calm, you make better decisions about what you feel you need in your life or how your current situation is going. And a calm mind helps you sleep. And if you're able to calm your mind and settle into a deeper meditation and your mind is clear, it allows you to access and actually hear your intuition, the wisdom that you already have within, the knowledge that you already have. So if, if any of this um, seems to call to you, then amethyst is a good stone for you to start meditating and working with. On Saturday, I'll be posting a guided meditation with amethyst. So if you think that this might be the stone for you, certainly watch the guided meditation. You don't have to have a stone with you, it's not required. But if something really calls to you, or makes you feel really uncomfortable, it's a sign that maybe you should get some amethyst and work with it some more. So thank you for joining me on this video. Again, every single week I'll be reviewing a different gemstone, so you'll get quite an array of knowledge. So, you know, if you enjoyed this time and this review of amethyst, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on Saturday for the guided meditation.